uh, where you're living, um, how are you? Uh, I'm here today to talk about um, how to not live in the past and enjoy today and be in the present. Uh, I help professional women to connect to who they are and find their voice and that's been a big part of my life and what I do. Uh, but one of the things that keeps showing up uh, with a lot of my clients uh, and a lot of people that I know is that uh, they, they look back uh, at where they were in the past and they think about you know, how much they've accomplished then and they regret not being able to enjoy uh, where they've been uh, and what they've done at the time uh, that it was happening. And a lot of us spend our life uh, looking uh, back at where we were, regretting, or talking about our past, our past successes, uh, some memories, places we've been. I know a lot of people who spend a lot of time in their conversations with other people talking about all the amazing things that they've done and all the amazing things uh, they've accomplished and people they've known and the experience that they've had. And that's great. It's great if you're able to remember the past, but also live today and not live your life always looking back. So uh, one of the things that I find uh, when I spend the time, uh, even with people who are younger, is that they all talk about um, you know, how much you know, they wish they've had, um, how much, you know, what, what they're missing. And all of us tend to focus on things sometimes that are not working and things that we are wishing to accomplish, which sometimes um, makes us miss uh, what we're present to and where we are today. So I would like to talk about some of the practices uh, of things you can do and things you can use for yourself to allow yourself to be more present and to allow yourself to be more appreciative of the now, of today, of where you are and who you are. And also understand that your perception today is what will be sort of a memory and what will stay with you. Uh, and tomorrow, looking back, you will you might be able to think, well, you know, I wish I appreciated that moment more. So there's ways that I find you can help yourself to ground yourself in the moment, but also be happy with what you've got now. Because today is a day that needs to be lived. Today is a day that needs to be experienced and we're all, when we're always looking forward we're we are missing the now we're missing the today and life is in that moment i'm sure you've heard uh, many different expressions between the past and the present so some of the techniques that i want to share with you today have to do with being able to um, being present uh, in the moment and being able to also understand where you're at at a certain moment so some of the ways that might be working for you is taking a journal and every day doing a simple practice of gratitude and it's talked about all the time. But I want to expand a little bit on that practice. When you are thinking about your life in the now and you think about your day and what you want for your day to happen or what has happened in your day, you can actually think about some of the events of the day and some of the small things that have showed up or that you want to show up for yourself. So if you take a journal and you write down the three things that you can be grateful for, it's a very simple practice. And again, it's talked about a lot. So most of us know, but we don't really practice it. So if you do that, and then in addition to thinking about the three things that you're grateful for, and those could be the same things every day if you want, or they could be three different things depending on what's happening, but it will give you the awareness and the joy of something that is happening in your present moment, which will allow you to come back into the now versus being in the past or thinking about the future. Um, if you add a few more things to that practice, it will really help you appreciate and be able to take the day uh, and can really fully reassess or really fully understand what the day was about or what the day has brought for you. And I find that simple practice of awareness allows you to see uh, where you're at. It allows you to connect to the uh, moments and to the things that you've experienced that day and to also allow you to be grateful for some of the things that you have been through or that you have accomplished and that you have experienced. So if you ask yourself a simple thing, 
um, in addition to the three things that you're grateful for, what are the three things I've learned today? What are the three things that are new for me that are the new experiences? And they could be the smallest things. I will give you an example. Um, when I look back on my day, I think, I think about uh, the three things that were new for me. So for example, if I think about uh, my day yesterday, uh, I will uh, think about that there's a few things that I've experienced that were new. You know, I've learned um, sort of a simple practice of breathing. Um, I've enjoyed the sunshine and I've enjoyed sort of the, the feeling of the wind on my skin and also the, the new thing in September is that uh, you know the, the weather is, is changing, the weather is getting colder. So that's a new experience and it's, it's being able to experience that, that different feeling in your day that really makes a difference and to be able to acknowledge it um, as well as you know if you're experiencing trying something new you know what what is it that you've learned from that experience uh, or another simple question that I ask myself what are the three things or at least one thing that I've learned about myself today being able to observe yourself and see your own growth and see your own expansion as a human being will allow you to uh, to be able to really um, hone into you know what are you know the qualities in yourself that maybe you didn't know about or you weren't uh, aware of or that you're opening up for yourself uh, that are showing up or that are growing which in turn gives you a possibility to see yourself from from a different light and to also give yourself the credit for what you're going through or what you're experiencing today and by going through I, I don't mean that it has to be something traumatic it could be something new something exciting uh, you know, if you're, for example, starting a new job, uh, it's it's a moment of learning and growth, and and it's accompanied by a lot of different feelings, a feeling of, of growth and expansion, but also a feeling of uh, sometimes doubt, uh, a feeling of fear, you know, whether you can do it or not. So when you give yourself an ability to see and to observe yourself, and to also discover new things about yourself and about your day and about your feelings and what is coming through for you. Uh, that brings up uh, a feeling of actually being present, of being alive today. And so in order to really uh, not rush through life, but be able to kind of feel yourself, you know, it's, it's important to stop at some point during the day. And the best time usually is, you know, after dinner or at a time when, you, when it's quiet in your house, and when you have the space and the time to really bring your thoughts together at whatever time of, time of day that you're able to do it. If you have young kids, maybe you want to put them to bed um, and then give yourself that space to do it. But having that practice and, and trying to do it every day or at least every other day will allow you to really uh, be aware of the moments in, in your day and be aware of what the day has brought for you, which in turn bring you into the now, into the present. And it will also allow you to see yourself with your own eyes. Because sometimes uh, in life, we take other people's opinions and other people's views of ourselves. And we put on those views as the clothes that we are supposed to wear. But what happens with that is that we uh, take away our own ability to grow, our own ability to Kind of allow ourselves to be you know who we are and, and to be uh, the people that are able to grow and expand who we are so very often when we take other people's opinions and especially something we've heard from the past and those voices are still in our heads and those uh, conversations or uh, you know something that we've heard and when we think back to those times it brings us back to those moments and it makes us smaller than we're capable of being. So I suggest if you do sometimes think about what someone said to you, you know, either your parent or a teacher or somebody whose opinion was valuable to you, leave it in the past and allow yourself to grow and change and expand who you are. You know, September is a really good time um, to start something new, start a new chapter, because it is kind of a point of, um, of start for a lot of kids, for a lot of people who are going back to school 
So it's an opportunity to start a fresh chapter. I always say, you know, people have the New Year's resolutions and that's a great time to start. Um, you know, your birthday is a great time to start, but the new school year is also an opportunity to allow yourself to start something new, to start fresh, to open up a new chapter and also uh, allow yourself to, to grow and learn and to gain new knowledge, which includes gaining knowledge about yourself and who you are. So a simple practice of writing things down, uh, you know, there's other questions that you can ask yourself. You know, what are the three things that I enjoyed about today? I mean, they, it has to do with being grateful, but these are, you know, there could be other things that you've enjoyed doing, uh, the things that you've learned, the things that you want to see change in your life. When you come back and assess where you're at and also think about uh, the things that you want for your life, it gives you a sense of hope. So in the times when you're not happy maybe with how things have turned out, you can always turn your gaze, your eye to what you want to show up. So it's asking yourself those questions that will bring you into the present and will also allow you to reassess and give yourself the space to think of something uh, that you want and to think of how uh, how is it that you can get there? How is it that you can uh, you know step onto that journey of, of being present, of being uh, in, in the now, but also seeing your life uh, where you want uh, it to be. Uh, very often we live in a you know a lot of people are sort of mediocre uh, about you know how they feel about their life. So I suggest if you do find yourself uh, at times not being comfortable to sit back and, and assess things. Ask yourself why you have that feeling of, of discomfort, of doubt, because sometimes there could be underlying fears, there could be underlying things that are stopping you from uh, analyzing and assessing uh, where you're at. It could be something that's really you know, fundamental, something that maybe you've been afraid to, um, to come to and to question yourself about. Uh, and those fears are important uh, to bring up because then you can face them, then you can look at what is it that's blocking me from fully enjoying my life and being happy with my life. Sometimes, you know, the choices that we make are the choices that we make at the present, uh, which have to do maybe with taking a career or a job that is, you know, paying the bills and maybe not fulfilling uh, your, uh, kind of your purpose. It's not fulfilling yourself and it, you don't feel fulfilled. So it's asking yourself, what parts of my job are not fulfilling for me? It's also being uh, present to kind of where you're at, understanding that maybe right now this is the time for you to be in, in this place, but where do you want to be? Or what are some ways that you can bring um, and inject more joy and more passion into your life? It's thinking about what are some of the things that you would like your job to be? Because when you allow yourself to, to dream and expand your vision, uh, that's when you can bring, uh, you know, more possibilities because uh, it's it's about allowing yourself and and trusting that you're actually capable of that and that you deserve uh, this happiness and that you deserve to be fulfilled and, and have that joy. So it's about being present. It's about being in the now. It's about stopping to assess where you're at and where you want to be, and also finding the joys in the small. In the small things and being in the present and those joys are really and I, and I talk about it quite a bit uh, with a lot of my clients uh, and a lot of people forget that you know it's a cup of coffee in the morning it's it's the sun you know shining on your face it's it's being with your loved ones it's uh, you know hearing the the laughter of your child I mean there's there's pleasure if you're able to find pleasure in those little things your day will be uh, injected with you know a different texture There'll be feelings of, uh, you know, what you're feeling, and you'll, there'll be feelings of that joy, of that passion, of that excitement about your day. So it's it's about allowing yourself uh, those things, and also being able to really be present in those without letting the worries uh, or certain things that you want, uh, or other things that are maybe with the responsibilities, to overwhelm you and take away uh, that ability to enjoy where you're at. Uh, you know, we all can find in five, 10 minutes in our day to sit down sometimes and think about, you know, and, and I suggest writing down uh, the, the things that you're experiencing that maybe 
are the not such good things, but it's being able to express them and to also uh, look at those things and to see you know, where you're at. That point of assessment, that point of reference that you can come back to uh, and be able to take that and to take the lessons from that to understand where you want to be. Is it without questioning uh, and without stopping to assess, there's no way to understand where you're at. So uh, I'm hoping that you can take those simple practices of being in, in the present, of being able to um, really look at your life and understand uh, where you're at and also be able to write down the, the gratitude uh, part of your day and be able to uh, understand where you're at that you can uh, take it forward to, to the next level and also allow yourself to be present. Uh, just like you know, I can be present now by petting my cat and experience the joy of his amazing silky fur on, on, on my skin and be able to enjoy his spontaneity and being able to be in the moment. Uh, all of these shows are recorded live, so uh, you know, he, he's definitely showing up as uh, in the now in the present. This has not been rehearsed. So uh, I want to encourage you to, to spend more time in the now and when you are looking back uh, it's okay it's great to remind yourself of the things that you've been through and the memories and a lot of the times those memories can feed you and, and can give you that inspiration and fire and joy of the present moment just don't forget that life is in the now so give yourself that possibility to be able to to stop and think what am I grateful for now sometimes we say you know may this moment stop so what about this moment that you want to stop? You know, think, feel, what are you experiencing? Uh, and write those things down, uh, what you're grateful for. And write down what are some of the things that you've learned about the day? What are some of the things that uh, you'd like the day to bring so that it can bring you to the moment, it can bring you into the now. So I wanna wish you a wonderful day and I wanna wish you to spend more time enjoying the present and appreciating all the things that you're accomplishing and all the things that you are. Have a wonderful day.